Today we're throwing down a new test, Carbon Fiber PLA versus PLA Plus. One strong, one stiffer, but which one actually will perform better in your projects? Let's break it down, literally. <laughs> PLA Plus is your upgraded, more durable version of PLA. It's tougher, less brittle, and prints like a champ. Carbon Fiber PLA takes chopped pieces of carbon fiber and adds it to the PLA, giving it extra stiffness, a matted finish, and a look that says, I mean business. But it's not all upside, so let's get into it. PLA prints smooth on almost any system, low temps, and less nozzle drama. Carbon fiber PLA though, that's a little bit of a different story. It's abrasive. You'll need a hardened steel nozzle or better. Don't send this stuff through a brass nozzle or trust me, you'll be crying later. That said, the finish is actually really cool, sleek, and amazing. Carbon fiber prints come off the bed textured with a high-end look. PLA Plus tends to be a little shinier, which may or may not be the aesthetic you're looking for. PLA Plus is often more impact resistant. It flexes and takes a hit before snapping. Carbon fiber is more stiff and less forgiving. It resists bending, but when it breaks, it snaps. So if you're printing a drone frame or bracket, something that you need to be very rigid, carbon fiber is probably the filament you're gonna wanna use. But if your print needs to absorb a little bit of impact, PLA Plus is probably a better choice. Now it's time to bring a little science to the table. I printed these identical bridges. We're gonna stick them in our force meter and see how they perform. So let's test the PLA Plus first. And if you wanna know how I know it's PLA Plus, cause they do look pretty similar. This one is slightly shinier and this one's a little more matted. I don't know if you can see it that well in the video, but in person, I can tell the difference. Plus, I sort of cheated and I marked the bottom of it with a plus for PLA plus and a C for carbon fiber. Okay, let's get the PLA plus. Yeah, that's the right one in here. Okay. So we have our little bridge in here and we're gonna bring our force meter down and see how much force it takes. Okay, it did crack, so right there, we'll go back and look at that. And let's just bring it all the way down. Okay. So we'll look at the first place it cracked and see. Okay. So we can see it really bent. It bent. It didn't snap right there in the center. It bent. You see a little bowing near the two edges, and that's the PLA. Now let's do the carbon fiber. Okay, so this is the carbon fiber. Oh, a lot, lot more cracking. Okay, while it didn't crack completely in half, it did crack underneath. So this part actually started splitting away uh, from that, from the pressure. It started breaking the top of the bridge away from sort of these uh, these columns that hold it together. So the carbon fiber definitely cracked right there where the PLA just sort of bowed. It didn't, it wasn't as rigid. Carbon fiber held the initial force, but it had very little flex. And once it reached its limits, it had a clean crack in it. PLA flexed more under the load, but it gave a warning with its one little crack noise versus the uh, carbon fiber, which actually cracked multiple times. When it comes to precision, carbon fiber is a bit more dimensionally stable. The rigidity helps it keep its crisp edges and fine details. And let's be honest, the matted finish on carbon fiber looks amazing for functional parts, cosplay armor, or anything that says I'm not messing around. But here's the catch. Carbon fiber may cost double what you would pay for a spool of PLA Plus. So unless you need to add stiffness or you like the look of carbon fiber, PLA Plus will definitely give you more bang for the buck. So here's my verdict. PLA Plus should be one of your everyday workhorses. It's strong, it's durable, and it plays well with almost every printer. 
Carbon fiber is especially filament and is great if you need rigid parts, but make sure your hardware can handle it. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. Thank you.